Good day. Uh, this little lesson is going to be about how do you get those layouts out of that uh, layout book and then get them into the proper spot on your page or the margins for the page. First you'll always want to open up you want to open up off of the master layouts which is of course located in digital media 2011 yearbook spreads which may change to 2012 or 13 or 14 and then their master layouts 2011. Once you get into that folder, open up the master layout 2011. Take a second for this to load. These are all of the instructions that you're supposed to follow in general. You should move down to page 2 and 3. There's a lot of warnings about please run spell check. Please run spell check. Run spell check. Eventually you're going to delete all this stuff here. So I'm going to highlight and press delete. It's going to go away. And you're going to delete some of this other stuff around here as you progress. So the, this page is set up with the right folio at the bottom. The fonts are right for the page numbers and whatnot. And then uh, so are the margins. So you don't have to change the margins if you use this setup. If you do use another setup from a blank, you have to make sure the margins on the inside are 0.75. That's right here. And that all the other margins are 0.625. That would be the top, the outside, and the bottom. So it's a lot safer to use this layout. Now let's say you look through the uh, book and you find one that you really like. Here's where they're located. You're going to open up uh, the layouts. And those layouts are located in Now the assumption is you've already looked through the book and found your layout number. There's a little number in the bottom corner of each of those. You don't have to do it that way. But once you find that out of the book, you'll come into the uh, open that specific layout. And you find that layout, and you just open it in InDesign. You say uh, File Open. You go to Digital Media, Layouts for InDesign. And we've labeled it Size 7 because books have different sizes. Ours is a Size 7 book. You open up the Size 7 and you'll see these these areas and these are the same sections of that book and let's say you found one in the sports section that you really loved there's a number in the corner there's a, one on the left and there's one on the right I'm gonna say you wanted six uh, probably 610 you say I double click it here's layout 610 and so now the margins are wrong and whatnot so there's three simple steps to make this thing happen to get it over into the other layout you had and I'm always make sure I'm in the black arrow if you go control A it selects everything. And if you group that by going control G, and if you copy that, control C, now you have a copy of that. Now you don't really need this layout anymore. You can close it. I'm going to close it and it's going to say, hey, do you want to save changes? No. Just close it. Which brings you back to that other layout that's sitting in your desktop. I usually click on the left hand side. I'm going to go control V. We'll paste it. So all I did in the other thing was control A to uh, select it all, control G to group it, and control C, copy. Then I come here and I lay it in pretty much where I want it. And at this point, you're going to have to make it fit inside these margins. Now there's various ways to do it. You can either, as it's grouped now, you can grab your shift key and move things around, uh, or you can slide it about like that, and then ungroup it by going uh, object ungroup, which is also shift, control, and G. Now it's ungrouped, and then I would just come over here and make sure all these margins were free of photos and whatnot, like this. This one doesn't need to be here. Then I'm pretty much good to go. At this point, save the document using the correct file names, and uh, you've pretty much mastered it. Keep continuing to refine and hone your layout, and uh, you'll make a great yearbook.